What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people always ask me about 051 Young Money. That's a crew that I'm always asked about. If it's not like OTF or St. Lawrence, those are like one of my top five people I'm always asked about as far as crews. Uh, 051 Pre Boy is a person I'm always asked about too, to be honest with you. I was lucky enough to get an opportunity to interview Pre Boy. I thought he was a dope dude, had a great temperament, a good vibe about him. You know, I hear the stories about the blick and blah, 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 blah. This is a no play play ass nigga right here. He'll get on your ass. He'll lay your motherfucking ass down. I didn't heard the same stories that you guys didn't heard. But like I tell people, I'm not his enemy. I'm not his op. So I didn't get any of that energy. You know, I never did nothing to these guys personally. So I got a chance to see the good side of these guys, you know. And sometimes the internet will kind of put stories on people and kind of build up who they are. Not saying this guy ain't a real street dude. Because trust me, I got the energy that... Pre-boy don't play no games and shit like that. But as far as just a monster who want to hurt everybody, I don't really believe that. Uh, he got a new song that he just dropped. I'm not going to lie. The song sound pretty decent. It got a decent flow. His cadence is decent on it. But it's something about the song that kind of stand out that I want to speak about. You know, he kind of name drop Newski and D-Thing in the song like he's smoking on them or something like that. You know, smoking on your ops have became uh, almost like law in Chicago. Everybody's doing that. To be honest with you, that shit didn't cross state lines. I hear people in different cities say they smoking on people and shit like that. You got to remember, it's always been issues between 051, like OTF. You hear Lil Durk name dropping. Ain't really name drop, but it's a lot of people feel like Lil Durk be dissing Melly and old songs and shit. And you clearly can see you know, some of the people drilling and dissing his songs and shit like that. So you can tell it's an issue between both camps. A lot of internet documentaries about shit both camps did to each other. Um, don't know how authentic that is. But we all know about the story of, like, L.A. Capone losing his life, leaving out of a studio. You know, some of the people who cool with pre-boy, the police alleged had something to do with that. You know, they claiming those guys are from 051 Young Money who had something to do with L.A. Capone murder. But, you know... That's allegedly now. Those guys, I don't know exactly what happened, but it's rumors that those guys kind of cooperated or something like that. I don't want to make up any lies, though, because I did see that on the Internet. And remember, the Internet love to make up lies and make it reality. Um, in my opinion, I think 051 Preboy can do this rap shit. He got the background. I actually interviewed him and learned that the guys actually... Out, out on like a bond i believe he's fighting a body or something like that you know he went through a crazy day in his life i'm gonna get an opportunity i'm gonna try to interview pre-boy again y'all get a chance check out my interview with pre-boy he told me that he was locked up with Lil J, and the things that he told me in that interview i thought was very wild and you know the coach needs to hear it so you get a chance check out some of pre-boy music subscribe to his youtube channel follow him on instagram but it's official he got a new song out and it looks like he name dropped Lil Durk brother D-Thing and Lil Durk cousin Nooski. Let me know how y'all feel about this. It's the homie truth.